Funky Nassau is 40 years old. That's right, it was back in November of 1970 when the beginning of the end recorded Funky Nassau, which instantly became a million seller international hit and climbed the Billboard Hot 100 chart up to the number 15 position. Charles Carter was very instrumental in helping us to launch the original song at ZNS when there was only one radio station in the country. And so we're gonna to return to the scene of the crime. And we, we plan to uh, redistribute the original album, the Funky Nassau album, limited edition. In addition to the success of this hit record, more than 30 different artists have released versions of the song worldwide. Raphael Munning says that while the hit did give Nassau significant exposure, he says relatively little is known about the group internationally. The song went out there and sold all those copies worldwide in the last 40 years. And I would say 99% of the world don't know who the group, what the beginning of the end, who they were, what they consist of. All they know was they heard the sound. They went out and bought it. It was just a 45 and the rest is history. Munnings was recently honored by Casual Cal's Bumpin' Big Show Circus, an honor that he took very seriously. We decided that we're gonna put on, we're gonna change the whole outlook of the show and focus on the 40th anniversary of Funky Nassau from 1970 to 2010. And uh, decided to honor me as a uh, being in the entertainment business for more than 40 years, but 40 years of Funky NASA. So if you are a fan of music of the 1970s, stay tuned for all the Funky NASA 40th anniversary events soon to be announced. After all, this is the Bahamian hit that kicked off that era. For the Tourism Today Network, I'm Gina Seeley.